All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today, man, uh, we're gonna be taking a look at a story. Honestly, this one was kind of viral a few days ago. I feel like the hype has kind of died down a little bit, right? But I'm still gonna cover this one, man, because it's just so actually absurd. Like, it's just, it's so almost unbelievable. I mean, if there wasn't literally footage of this incident taking place, you would just, I, I feel like, automatically assume that no human being could, like, do this, right? No person could bring themselves to doing something just so disturbing so just like non-human bro let's just call it for what it is i mean i just don't get how as a person you could do something like this and just have no problem with it man just some sort of wires have to not be connected in the right place in your brain or just something, man. Just absolute psychotic behavior that uh, we're going to be talking about today. So you may have already seen this story. Like I said, it was pretty viral. A lot of people were talking about it a couple days ago. But recently, a situation went pretty nuclear where uh, two people, I believe it was in Las Vegas or the Las Vegas metropolitan area, recorded themselves in a stolen car, uh, basically murdering a guy on a bicycle. Let's just say it for what it is. Now, there were articles that came out talking about this whole thing, and, you know, they, they discussed it and they it seems like kind of underscored the severity of what really went down like i saw one article that said like uh, oh former police chief uh killed in biking accident or whatever goes viral for his story right but it turns out it wasn't just some biking accident it was a fucking cold-blooded murder that was filmed on camera and then uploaded to social media for pretty much anyone to see that that's what's really craziest about the whole fucking thing the people who carried out this just unspeakable act had just such little intelligence to realize they recorded themselves committing a fucking murder and then uploaded it to the internet with their faces and everything in it just like uploaded a video of them committing murder it just the stupidity that some people actually possess will never cease to blow my fucking mind man Two teenagers face murder charges for targeting a bicyclist in Las Vegas and capturing on video the moment they drove into the man as he pedaled along the side of a road, authorities said Tuesday. Las Vegas police said they've tied the teens to at least three hit-and-run incidents on the morning of August 14th. They believe the death of 64-year-old Andreas Rain Probst, uh, a former police chief in Bell, California, was the final one. Video shot from the front passenger seat shows the vehicle approaching Probst from behind while he was riding near the curb on an otherwise traffic-free road. As those in the car laugh, the vehicle steers towards Probst and rams the bicycle, sending Probst hurling onto the hood and into the windshield. A final image from the moving car shows him on the ground next to the curb. Deputy Police Chief Nick Ferrisi uh, called the recording from inside a stolen vehicle appalling and a quote cowardly act clark county district attorney steve wolfson said that he uh, had taken a personal interest in the case and vowed to charge both teens as adults until then he said they wouldn't be identified uh quote justice will be served in this case so obviously i'm not going to show you guys the video uh it's it's honestly fucked up if you really want to find it you can find it online it's not worth watching it's just one of those videos that you see and it just it makes you fucking sad like the human in you kind of kicks in when you realize that these two just fucking basically murdered a guy for no reason like he was literally riding on his bike completely unaware that they were behind him he obviously didn't antagonize them or do anything and they just fucking run him over with a car and kill him like it just it, it blows your mind that people are so calloused and cold and careless man but and these are apparently uh juveniles which means and they're probably what 15 16 17 right they're teenage kids right but yet they had no problem committing fucking murder it just I don't know, when I was 16, I was at home playing video games, making YouTube videos, struggling in school, bro, you know what I mean? Just living a normal teenage life, but then you have teenagers out there who are fucking literally killing people and feel absolutely zero regret or remorse or shame, anything, right? So, yeah, this video was uploaded willingly to social media, and that's kind of what blows my mind the most about the whole thing. And these guys apparently had, uh, according to the article at least, are being blamed for at least three hit and runs in this stolen car so let, let's think about this timeline of events these kids stole a car uh they went on a, a fucking joyride i guess around the las vegas area they ran over three people willingly uh killing one of them and then recorded it all and uploaded it to the internet for whatever fucking reason right so i like 
eight crimes got committed, at least. You know what I mean? Like, it's just fucking, these guys, it's not like they're going to be struggling with the criminal charges. It just, it blows my mind that some criminals are so fucking stupid that, like, they upload video evidence of themselves committing the crime to all of social media for everyone to see. So, like, I don't know what was going through their head, right? But they stole a car, which is a serious enough crime. I mean, Grand Theft Auto is a pretty fucking legit crime. They killed a guy, they ran over several people, and then they willingly told on themselves and gave the police all the evidence that they needed to convict them. I mean, like, let's be real. How do you think a jury is going to see this, right? You know, they're in there fucking deciding whether or not this kid is going to basically go to jail forever. At least if this is a legitimate case, he should go to jail forever. Or both of them should because they were both complicit in the whole thing but they're gonna see this video of them doing this shit and just laughing it off like it was no big deal and shit you think they're really gonna want to take lenience in this case right i think we can all hope not because regardless of your age like people are gonna obviously i feel like make the excuse oh well they're teenagers man teenagers make dumb mistakes teenagers do stupid things boys will be boys blah 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 yada 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 keep fucking yapping bro 99.99999 percent of teenage boys Boys are not out here fucking stealing people's cars, driving them through town, and murdering people on bicycles, bro. I really, I, I don't want to hear the fucking excuses for them. I don't want to hear the defense for them. There is no defense. There is no excuse. What they did is criminal and they should go to jail forever. Point blank, period. Honestly, if they faced the death penalty, I wouldn't even really be that upset about that either because they made that innocent man on a bicycle face the death penalty for literally no fucking reason at all. They put countless people's lives in danger by driving a stolen car through town like fucking idiots. So apparently the driver was arrested the day the entire thing happened, right? Right? And then it took a while, but they eventually caught this second kid who was involved, the guy who recorded and was also in the car. Uh, they ended up catching him a little bit later after investigating and whatnot, right? But important to note, they will both apparently be facing adult charges, according to the district attorney. And it's just, it's fucked up. Because like I said, the video of this whole thing was uploaded to social media. It made its rounds, right? Like, I, I, I can't imagine... Honestly, I don't think anyone really could imagine, right? Imagine this. Your father, out of all people, right? There's a video of him online where two teenagers who stole a car mowed him down like a fucking blade of grass for the crime of riding his bike in the bike lane peacefully, right? They fucking murder your dad in cold blood on video, and then not only that, but then you go on social media, and there's video evidence of your dad being fucking murdered, being circulated across the entire World Wide Web. You got every news agency in the world talking about your dad getting murdered. Like, imagine how that feels. This isn't just a crime where there was one victim. I mean, this guy's entire fucking family now has to struggle with the reality and grasping the severity of this kind of situation. I mean, this kind of shit indirectly has now affected dozens of other people. You know what I mean? It, it's not just one guy who got killed. His whole family now has to grieve this and probably pay out of pocket to have him buried and to have a funeral for him, which if you know anything about how much it is, like, honestly, it's very expensive to die. It's kind of sad. You literally spend thousands of dollars in America, really probably anywhere to die. But I, I guess so these kids could have their fucking joyride and upload videos of it. I don't know. There's clearly zero remorse too. Like I said, I'm not going to show you the video, but after they kill him and they drive off, they're literally like laughing pretty much. And they're like giddy with excitement over the fact that they just did what the fuck they just did, bro. It, it It's really disturbing. It shows you just how fucked up the world is. I'm not one of those like super religious, like God fearing people. I'm not religious. I'm definitely spiritual, but I'm not religious. But these are those types of people, man, that when people say, oh, they have the devil in them, that that's exactly what the fuck they're talking about right there. This type of person. Because the only type of people who could do something this fucking just cruel, bro, they, they gotta be touched by evil in some way, man. They, they gotta just, it's one of those things where it just, it feels like a sudden, like a very small portion of the population is just so fucking depraved and disturbed that they're willing to do literally anything. Like, just shit that is obviously out of reach and out of grasp for most of us to even consider. They treat as if it's like a fucking sport or a game, bro. I just, I don't know. Not really sure even what the end goal of all of this was. Like, if you think about it, it, it I, it's not really a situation obviously you should think about rationally, but like trying to process what they did. Why would you do this? 
They stole the car. I can see why someone steals a car. You know what I mean? Like people steal cars all the time. But to then joyride and like run people over, what the fuck do you even gain out of that, right? Like what benefit is there? You steal the car, okay, take it to a chop shop, you know, get some money out of it or fucking sell it on Marketplace or something. But going around and killing people with it, like uh, what the fuck do you gain? What benefit is there? It's literally just nonsense, man. It's just actual fucking nonsense. There was genuinely no purpose for any of it. It was just... Uh, an incident that was carried out for the sake of carrying it out, I guess, is really the best way to put it. And now somebody's dead. Somebody who didn't deserve to die is dead. Other people who were ran over, apparently, by these people are probably gonna face physical repercussions for a while. Uh, maybe they're crippled, maybe they're handicapped, maybe they got a broken bone. They probably got PTSD and all types of shit now, right? I just, uh, I don't know. I, I, I think maybe my brain is too normal, bro, for me to try and process why somebody would do this. The only answer I'm able to come up with is just purely for the attention, which, I mean, obviously that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, because, like, yeah, you get fucking a couple articles and, like, three days of attention online, but then you spend the rest of your life getting fucked by Big Brody in Cell Block C when you drop the soap. It, it just it just doesn't make sense man it really just doesn't make fucking sense you get your couple hours of fun i guess if this is what you can really call fun and then you go to jail forever and you eat fucking prison food forever and you get like three loved ones who ever come and see you ever again like once a week forever and then there's a pretty good chance that when all the other inmates find out that these fucking scumbags did what they did they might end up getting like excluded or even getting the shit beaten out of them or something like prison is no joke man People like to joke like, oh, aha, don't drop the soap. But like, dude, if you go in there on some serious ass charges and shit and like, you really can't gain the respect of your fucking cellmates, you're in for a really rough time. Like, especially for them. Th this is life, bro. They literally could be facing life and realistically they should. I don't give a fuck if they're teenagers or not. There is no reason either of them should be free ever again. And yeah, that also goes for the guy who was just, you know, sitting passenger and filming the whole thing because not only did he get into the stolen car with his accomplice, not only did he record it all and like post the video around to social media to get clout, not only was he complicit in the murder of somebody and the running over of other people he saw zero problem with anything that was going on and you can see it in the video with the fucking laughter and the giddiness and whatnot right he deserves just as much as the driver to face lifetime repercussions it just like it, it's one of those things where I, I guess you get clout you know i guess you get some articles you get some attention but for what, right? What, 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 what gain do you get? It's not like you can make a living off of this attention or like you can build a career or like really do anything with the attention. You're just now kind of forever known as that douchebag, right? As that asshole who's going to spend the rest of his life uh, with his pocket out in jail. Like just fucking stupid, just completely dumb. So I don't know. I just wanted to cover this one because it's just one of those stories, man, like you see and it blows your fucking mind. So anyway, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. Thank you to my Watch Optimus subscribers. Your support helps the channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, talking about this just horrific situation and signing out.